Dave, this is Danny Johnson. Just driving home from Las Vegas, making a few videos. <laughs> so, uh, something I wanted to cover, uh, since I'm a Mustang guy. Right now I'm driving a GTR that belonged to my friend. Very nice car. But anyway, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, fuel systems. And uh, the difference kind of between a return fuel system and a returnless fuel system. And uh, this will mainly apply probably to Mustangs. Mustangs that I'm used to, 90, 96 to 04 kind of era, um, uses a returnless fuel system. So what that means is that you have the pumps turn on in, in the tank. They're supplying the uh, fuel lines with, with fuel pressure, and it's going to a fuel rail. And then at the fuel rail, you have a, a fuel pressure sensor regulator, and uh, Basically, what's driving the whole system is, uh, you know, the, the, it's taking readings from the throttle response that you're that you're telling it with the gas pedal and, and all that. But there's a little module in the trunk, and it's called an FPDM or a fuel pump driver module. And so, basically, what that does is it plays the little game of red light, green light. So I don't know if you've ever played that game growing up. But uh, in that game, one person stands facing the opposite direction of everybody else, and as they start to advance towards the person, the person turns around and yells, red light. And so everybody stops. And if you keep moving, you're out. Okay? So then the person turns around and says, green light. And everybody starts running, and then he turns around and says, red light. Okay, so red light, green light tells people to, to go and to stop. So that's kind of the best way to explain a returnless fuel system is you know that module in the trunk is saying go stop go stop more more fuel less fuel it's almost like its own gas pedal too you can kind of put it in that way and you have all kinds of things uh, that are little uh, sensors that are that are all needed in this it's actually a more complex and complicated system than a return fuel system one of those other components that uh, just really complicated more in the fuel tank and it's called the PPRV so it's positive pressure release uh, valve something along those lines and uh, relief valve and so basically it's kind of a valve that uh, since it's not a return system where fuel is going back into the tank and it's a one-way street uh, it's a valve that starts to flow and then when you let off the gas pedal the fluid that would go back in the tank gets stopped on its way back in. Okay, so that's what that valve's doing. So it can be very annoying sometimes. A lot of people delete it, though you can tune around it. And uh, basically, uh, that valve in that game of red light, green light is just another delay that's that's caused. Because you, you, let's say, for example, you step on the gas full, full throttle. Then you go to shift. You let, let's say you let go of the gas and go to shift. As soon as you let go of the gas, fuel pump driver module says red light, so all the, the fuel stops, okay? As the fuel stops, and you have all the pressure that was being pumped up to the fuel rail, now that fuel starts to come back into the gas tank, but it gets stopped again by that uh, PPRV valve. It says you're not going back in the tank, this is a one-way street. And so then when you get back on the throttle, the, the fuel pump driver module now says, okay, green light, go. And then you have that little bit of a delay from the from the fluid that was headed to, this, to the fuel rail and then got stopped and was on its way back. And now it's told green light and tells it to go back to the fuel rail again. So that's kind of the whole system and how it's working. And so with that, every once in a while, shift, if you're you know light shifting, uh, the car will stop and then go again real quick. And uh, that's not good because then you could create a lean condition. Uh, the car also knows you let go of the gas, so it's already stopped its ignition timing and everything so for that split second. But um, anyway, that's, uh, that's one of the drawbacks of a returnless fuel system. Um, as opposed to a return fuel system, where it's allowing, what it's doing is the pumps are basically on the whole time. And they're not turning off and turning on, playing a game of red light, green light. On a 
return fuel system, they're pumping, it's showing all that all that fuel is going to the fuel rail and whatever's not used goes back into the tank. And then it just gets back in line and comes back again. Okay, so it's going around in circles. And so there's advantages and disadvantages to both. Uh, this way you're heating the fuel up a little bit because once it passes through the fuel rail and the engine, the hot engine, then it makes its way back to the tank and now you have warmer fuel. Uh, but a return fuel system like that usually can flow a lot more. It's a lot less complicated, as we said. And uh, we won't go into the details of the fuel pressure regulators and all that kind of stuff, but just basically put a return system goes in a circle, keeps uh, the pumps are operating the entire time, and uh, and uh, on a return list, you're playing a game of red light, green light.